All right, guys, today's video is completely different than the format I typically like to use because I'm flying solo today, but we're gonna get more into that later. What you will see today is brand new equipment coming from Volvo, hybrid excavators, a new R100 rigid truck, massive demolition excavators with specific boom configurations for different kinds of work and a lot of really cool equipment. All right, guys, we're at the Volvo booth at Con Expo, and one of the first things we've got to address is one of the rumors that Volvo has actually withdrawn from Con Expo. And this is not actually true. Volvo has all of their equipment here. What they have withdrawn is their staff because of safety concerns from health issues, especially the coronavirus. So what Volvo's actually been doing is training local people on site to help answer questions. Although they won't have their own technical staff here, they will have enough help here that as people go through the booth, they should be able to answer the most basic of questions. And with that being said, I usually typically like to get a product specialist or an engineer to do a walk around with me, but unfortunately that's not gonna be possible today. So I'm gonna be doing the very best I can to bring you this information on my own. So without wasting any more time, let's check out what's absolutely brand new coming from Volvo this year, starting with this 100 ton heavy hauler right behind me, because this bad boy doesn't come out until Q4 of 2020. Let's go check it out right now. All right, guys, so this is Volvo's R100E, the biggest rigid class in Volvo's category. This truck is topping out at about 1,050 horsepower, and even though it's really a massive unit, it's designed to go up to 31 miles per hour. Now, the bed of the truck has actually got a V configuration. And what I'm actually talking about is the bed forms a V, meaning every time that it flips up and dumps, it allows the material to slide out a little bit easier. Now these guys that you see working in the background, they're actually helping set up the booth uh, for tomorrow because the show doesn't open for another day. So these aren't actual Volvo employees. But let's talk about how much weight that this truck can actually handle. It's designed to haul up to 209,000 pounds. Yep, so the truck will gross out at about 363,000 pounds total. That's truck weight and full capacity. So it's, it's empty weight comes in at about 150, 160,000 pounds. That's just the truck by itself. How are you guys doing? Hey, good, how about yourself? Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Truck. So to help the operator run a truck this big, it's got good overall visibility, but it also has a 360 degree surround view system, which is provided by Volvo's Smart View. This is a system that uses multiple ultra wide angle exterior mounted cameras to produce a bird's eye view of the vehicle and surrounding work area. And that's all shows up on an onboard display inside of the cab. Let's actually go up top and see if we can take a closer look at what that cab looks like. I don't know if we're gonna have access. Normally they would have full access to this, but without Volvo staff on hand, and we have very limited access to it. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the cab. We've got an access ramp that comes up, give you access to check out exactly how it looks when you're up here. So what you see right here, I'm familiar with this. This is Volvo's onboard fire retardant system. So they have that on all of their major equipment in case the fire breaks out. It's actually a foam system that allows it automatically deploys. I don't know if we can actually, let's try it. Nope, can't get inside. So it looks like it's got a two seat operation. I'm gonna guess that's probably for training purposes. Let's take a look at this. All right, so while we're up here, we might as well take a look at Volvo's EC950F, which is their biggest excavator in their lineup. And this one is also brand new coming out. Well, it's actually just recently been released. All right, guys, so the weight of this unit is about 209,000 pounds. Now, as we look at it, you're gonna see a massive bucket. This thing is meant and designed to 
for just digging, loading, hauling inside gravel pits, mines, things like that. And that bucket, this machine can handle anything from a five to a nine yard bucket. Let's take a look at the cap. Again, I don't think we're gonna be able to get in. So we're gonna peek through the window. So this is what Volvo calls their 100 ton excavator and it pumps out 603 horsepower. So as we look at the machine from the underside, she's almost 15 foot from outside track to outside track. We're talking 14 feet, nine inches. You guys can stay right where you're at unless you don't like being on camera. So we're actually not exaggerating. Volvo's keeping all of their personnel out, even to the point where they don't have information here. So here's the notes. I went on their website. Here's where I'm getting all my information for the walk around today because there's nobody to ask. So let's keep going. So Volvo's also replaced their two system from a top mounted two system that you can see here to a side mounted two system that I'm going to show you right now. All right, here's the new two system. Big side loaded them. So you can drive them out. So your new tooth just keeps it a little bit cleaner. Now I wanted to get this filmed and I normally would have somebody help me filming, but my wife hadn't made it into town yet. So there was a few unique challenges. All right guys, next I want to actually do a little compare and contrast. This is what's called a, an articulated hauler in contrast to the rigid hauler that we seen earlier. This unit is designed to flex, keeping the cab stationary. If there was ever an accident or a rollover, the back half of the truck can completely roll over to the side, keeping the operator safe and upright. Now this truck produces 630 horsepower and will haul 43 cubic yards or approximately 61 tons. This truck will go 34 miles an hour. And you know what? Let's quit talking. Let's start looking a little bit closer at exactly how this thing works. So Volvo's made maintenance on this thing beautiful. You can't see it right now. Again, we're not allowed to flip these open. We're not allowed to do anything with them. The entire hood will open up 90 degrees and then the grill itself, so this part of the truck actually has a step ladder built into it. So that'll rotate down and you can crawl right up and into the engine of this unit. So here we can take a closer look at exactly how this articulates. So this is an isolation unit right here, meaning that this entire back half can swing one way or another way. And that's this is this is the magic that keeps the operator safe inside the cab. Both the articulated, both this articulated hauler and the rigid hauler over there have an onboard weighing system so that as you are getting loaded, you know exactly how much weight you're carrying. That way you're maximizing productivity, maximizing efficiency, but you're also keeping the operator safe. They're not guessing, hey, am I overweight? Is it gonna be dangerous as I go down and around this tight turn because they're overweight or they're not overweight? They, they actually have real-time feedback monitoring which helps keep them working all day long. All right, guys, next we're going to be looking at the Volvo EC750E. Now, this is an excavator specifically designed for high reach, long reach, a lot of demolition work, and it's got a few different configurations specifically to help guys understand that. Now, you can actually reconfigure this in four different ways. It's got a maximum reach, get a load of this, of 118 feet from the pin. The next thing that I want to show you is what I consider to be one of the most interesting, and that's the track configuration. It's designed to create a long, stable platform in unstable conditions. So when you're doing a lot of demolition work, what that basically means is a lot of times you got to crawl up onto your, uh, your, your pile, your demo pile, and when you're doing that, that's not the same as crawling onto a dirt pile. And so I want to show you what they've done with the track to help the operator feel a little bit more comfortable. Let's look at that right now. All right, guys, right under here is where the magic happens. You see them shiny sil silver cylinders right there and right there. Those will widen out, shrink in. You can adjust those as you see fit. So as you get into unstable conditions, you want a bigger, flatter platform to sit on. Boom. So let's compare and contrast. This is a standard on 
undercarriage on an excavator. Uh, well, of course, this isn't a standard excavator, but a standard undercarriage. This is the 950. Now let's go right over here to the 750. And now you can see pretty clearly what I'm actually talking about. These hydraulic cylinders are what move in and out. Now let's take a look at this boom arm configuration. One of the unique things about this boom arm is it's got hydraulic cylinders. And basically what I'm really talking about is the it's got hydraulic pins. So the pins themselves, you see those pins that are up there? Those pins, you can hit a button and those pins, the, the actual that are locked into place, will come out on their own. Again, we would normally show you all of these things, but without having any Volvo staff on hand, we can't actually activate any of this and do it. Now, you see this cab configuration? It's got the hockey mess that wraps all the way over and in front of the cab. Well, that's because a lot of times when you're demoing stuff above your head, you got to have a very real sense that something could come crashing down on top of you. So Volvo's designed it to keep the operator absolutely as safe as possible. Now, now this excavator gives you a choice of boom configurations. You can go straight, straight, which gives you the most vertical reach. You can go straight bent, which gives you the most horizontal reach and a st safe, stable working environment. You can also go bent, bent, which gives you the, the deepest dig down possible. But now next, we're gonna look at something brand new and pretty interesting, so let's do that right now. All right guys, this is Volvo's EC300 hybrid excavator, and although it looks like a typical excavator, it's got something that makes it relatively unique, and that's a secondary accumulator motor that stores up, reserve energy, and then re-delivers it. Let me explain how that works real quick. So it uses gravity to help reserve energy. So as you're booming down, the accumulator motor is actually pulling all that energy in and then when you go into uh, your excavating or your your power delivery mode it's re-delivering that and what that does is that re reduces a little bit of the torque output that the motor has to produce and what that what translates is to a 15 to 17 percent fuel savings for the owner of the machine. Alright guys, I'm not allowed to actually go up on top of the machine because there's no Volvo staff on hand. And so from the ground level, what we see right here, I believe that's the accumulator motor right there. Now the unit itself produces 231, 241 actual horsepower if I remember right. It runs a one to three yard bucket. It's got a 35 foot dig reach. So you can reach out 35 feet and it's got a 24 foot dig depth. This thing is kicking out 37,765 pounds of breakout force. And the unit itself from outside track to outside track is 10 foot, six inches wide. All right guys, and here's something else that I wanna just bring to you that I'm learning as we go. This is under wraps because Bobo wanted to be able to explain this to the public and because they're not manning the booth, they're opting to keep this under wraps, but I see a solar panel right here and it looks like they're committed to building a fully electric compact line. In fact, they've got a this mini excavator, the ECR25, is fully electric, and so is this payloader, or compact loader, or mini loader, right here. Both are all electric, and if that solar panel is any indicator, it looks like there may be a mid-sized electric excavator coming down the pipeline as well. But we won't know. So if you guys want, more coverage on stuff like this just say pull back the sheets let's see what's under the sheets in the comments down below because i kind of want to know but i'm not allowed to so um but if but if you guys bubble will be reading the comments so if you guys comment on it we should be able to get them to pull back those sheets all right guys well that's all i've got for you today normally i like to do this with an actual product specialist so i can make sure i get all of the information as a accurate as possible. I did the best I could. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below. And that's it. God bless. Go get them, you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope it helped out in some way, shape, or form. And we will see you guys on the next one. God bless and go get them, you guys.